In this video, we are going to go over the practice case that's in the unit. So hopefully you've all read through that practice case and coded it, but I just wanted to demonstrate how to go through it in 3M. So once we go into 3M, we want to enter our patient's age and she was 11. Then we wanna make sure we have a current date, so we get current codes. And then under product for physician office coding, we are going to do the HICPIC CBT ICD group, or you could do the HICPIC CBT diagnosis group. So let's do the diagnosis group one. Then we're going to hit continue. Now it's asking for our primary diagnosis, either the word or the code. So if you already looked up the code, you can enter it, but here I'm just gonna look it up. So our patient had fifth disease, right? So I'm gonna type fifth. It didn't say it was venereal, so we're gonna hit two. It didn't say it was drug resistant, so we're gonna hit two again. And then we're gonna hit add diagnosis because our patient also had that sinusitis. So we are going to hit sinusitis. And then we're gonna come down to five, sinusitis. Now 3M is asking us for a specific type. Our documentation said sinusitis, right? We don't know if it's acute, chronic, frontal. We don't know any of that, it's not documented. So we're gonna hit D, unspecified. We don't know if it's acute, bacterial, or virus. Again, so we're gonna hit do not wish to code. Now 3M is asking, does our patient have any of these respiratory conditions? Again, you could double check in the documentation, but our patient did not. So we're gonna hit do not code. There was not a procedure done, right? So we're gonna hit no procedure. Now we had a service, right? Our service was an office visit. So we're gonna code that by hitting add procedure. So we have to tell 3M what we're coding. We're coding an evaluation and management office visit, right? That's the service we're coding. So we're gonna type evaluation. Once we get to that, we're gonna hit two for evaluation. And we want evaluation and management, right? So we're gonna hit number one. And then we don't want any of those first three. So we're gonna hit other evaluation and management. And then here we want the outpatient office. So we're gonna hit B. And we don't want any of those. So we're gonna hit other unspecified. Now, was our patient new or established? Well, it says under subjective that the grandfather brings the established patient in today. So our patient was established. So we're gonna hit one. Now, under the 2021 EM guidelines, we code either off medical decision making or total time of the encounter. So our documentation did state the patient um, had 22 minutes with the physician. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the total time. So I'm gonna hit two. And then we're gonna hit the 22 minutes, which is number two. And there's not prolonged time, so we're gonna hit no. There's not any other procedures to code. We're going to hit one. There's no temporary codes. We're going to hit one. And there's our ENM 99213. Again, you can go through this by hitting just the medical decision making, and then we would hit the low because our medical decision making was low. And then once we're done, we hit continue. It shows us. Nosology edits are just like tips from 3M's coding staff. You can read through those if you want, but our CPT is 99213. Our two diagnosis codes are B08.3 and J32.9. Remember 3M does not put the decimal point in for us, but we do know that ICD-10 CM diagnosis codes have that decimal point after the third character, so make sure and report that when you're writing out your code. 